Hi everybody, I've got a slight admission to make. For years I looked down on 3D printing because basically the two hours to print and anything that I wanted to do on that I could do quicker and more accurately just using hand tools. So I didn't think much of it. But I'm not that much of a Luddite. I figured, well, hey, you know, it's up and coming. Better give it a go. So I bought a couple of 3D printers and they were the filament type and they were just, well, Almost ludicrous, I hate to say this, but what you basically got was a bag of screws and a whole load of this stuff and some very wishful instructions, insert the thing in me bob while blowing up the control bladder, and you just couldn't understand them. If they weren't popular, there was no help whatsoever and you had to figure it out. And when I actually got the thing together and made these prints, they wouldn't stick and they were always warped and you had to twiddle with them and do extra things and buy glass and heaters and a bed adjuster. Oh, just, wow. I thought, no, this is not for me. And then Elagu wrote to me and said, would you like to try a resin printer? And of course, we did a review on that when we looked at resin printers and that was an eye-opener for me. I thought it was awesome. I got that thing up and running in probably, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and the very first print I did came off perfectly. We've had odd issues here and then, mostly to do because I sneeze in the resin every now and then, but the prints were just coming off, and we've done various videos where we've used those prints. So I, I reassessed my opinion of 3D printing to be filament, no, resin, yes. Then, Elegoo, who we seem to have a bit of a relationship with, sent me this. It's their flagship product, the uh, Neptune 3 Pro. So it's the thing that they're bringing out that is supposed to solve all those filament issues. Now normally, I just say no to a filament printer, but Elegoo actually have a, a really good reputation on this stuff, and certainly their resin printers are pretty awesome. So based on the fact that it was Elegoo who was saying, give this a go, Rob, we think we'll love it. I said, yes. I said, I'd have a look at the Neptune 3, see what it does and see if it changes my Luddite impression of filament 3D printing. So let's get it out of the box and have a look at this bad boy. That's it out of the box and really there's not that many parts, but there's something to notice about it and it's a bit of a trend I've been noticing because obviously I've been doing quite a few of these reviews on these modern machines and the leaders of the pack are paying a huge amount of attention to things like quality of build, response to what the audience, the buyer, is actually saying, and building it into updates. There's an awful lot more support out there, which is really good, and they've made this self-assembly process unbelievably easy. This one comes with a little book that's kind of like a cartoon book on how to put it together, and YouTube have an Elegoo official channel where you can jump to and pick up tips and tricks. I've checked it out. It only has 16,000 subscribers, which amazes me because um, I, I would think that was a resource that would be heavily used, but it's not as heavily used as it could be. So there's an awful lot of support out there for these kind of things. And Elego are one of those people who are separating themselves from the herd with exactly those ideas in mind. And we see it reflected right here, actually, just in the build quality. Now, some of the issues about filament printing are mostly to do with stuff like the machine shaking, um, the X and Y, Z motors not in alignment and a bit of wobble on them, this print bed here not being perfectly flat, that sort of stuff. And Elegoo have made some real forward strides in that, in that this print bed actually auto senses where it is, so you don't have to worry about a flat bed. That is magnetic, so you can print that off, it's got a smooth side and a rough side, give it a bend and your prints come off rather than you having to scrape them off with a hammer and chisel, which is always a bit of a drag. Now, they do say that sometimes these things wobble when they come from the factory, I've not noticed that, that's actually firm, but I will be checking it when I put it together that that's not wobbling, this isn't wobbling, that isn't wobbling, and of course those don't wobble, because any wobble is going to ruin your print, and that's really cured by good build quality, which this certainly seems to have. I mean, it's a heavy duty piece of equipment and very nicely designed, thought and put together. So let's do exactly that. We'll put it together. I don't know, 20 minutes and, and, and there it is. And it is a good sturdy build. I'm quite impressed with it, actually. They give you a lot of instructions about checking everything. I did check everything. Nothing was out of alignment, although you can't guarantee that, obviously, on each machine, but really nice. Now, of course, we have the next issue, and that is how to get something from here onto here. Oh! <laughs> it's actually doing something! <laughs> it 
that, uh, you know, that's the first time I've ever had a filament printer work that well. Like I said, the previous ones I've used, which were years ago, because it was so disappointing. But this one... Well, that's beautiful. I've left the um, sound on so you can actually hear how noisy the printer is. And <laughs> not noisy at all for these things. That's quite impressive, actually. Now, I'm printing... And Tom Stanton's air engine, the one where he ran it from pressure differences in bottles of water because it fits in with some ideas I've got about water and accumulators being batteries to produce energy and I wanted to sort of do a demonstration of that so I found that Tom had already done this and so I, I nicked his thingiverse print and I'm printing it now. So it's a six hour print so it's going to be a while before it's printed off and you can bet your bottom dollar that's going to be another video. That, that's really quite, quite awesome, actually. We'll check back in the ne next video, but as far as setting up the machine, yeah, that was easy. The software, everything comes on this little drive that they gave you, and it's a Cura, actually. It's been adapted a bit specifically for the Elegoo printer series, but it's essentially Cura. So if, if you're used to using Cura, you're going to have no worries at all. If you're not used to using it, it's actually not that difficult. It, it's pretty um, simple. It loads STL files, you set the settings for... The particular printer and plastic you've got and precise produces the G code file that you then put into here. Now putting that into here is a number of options. It does have a Wi-Fi option, it does have a uh, USB option which is there and I've got a little print card in there which again came with this. So there's three options to actually getting the damn thing to print. But this little screen that they've got, the control screen, it's really intuitive. I mean, you stab at it with your fat little fingers for a while, like my chubby little mitts, and you can get something to print. Now, filament printing has traditionally been a learning curve, mostly to do with getting the thing sticking and not lifting and not printing properly. And they seem to have done an awful lot with that, particularly with this self-leveling bed, quality of the build, silence of the machine, it is so far, it's very pre impressive, hey? So thanks to Alagoo for sending this through, and I know I've given a positive report because it's a positive thing. And we'll see how it does in the Tom Stanton engine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, just to add, this works out. I've got a ton of uses for this. Please remember to like and subscribe.